Center Park Pride Fest wraps up in about 10 minutes. Boy, what a great weekend for Pride Fest this year, huh, Dave? Oh, no kidding. Yeah, temperature's not bad at all. It makes, makes it feel like summer out there, but just not crazy. In fact, take a look at our highs today. In the yellow, that's where it's pretty nice. Uh, maybe a few points above normal, but mostly 80s here in the east. We made it to 86 officially out at DIA. In the green, that's the cooler stuff, and mostly 70s, and that includes Aspen Vale, 79, 70 respectively there. And then you get into the oranges and the reds. That's the hot stuff, and Grand Junction was in that territory at 90. Durango made it to 91 today. It's going to get hotter in the next several days and for both of those communities. Larry Geoke and Brush is coming in at 83, our weather watcher out there. And take a look at this cute little picture from Peter Pereira in Centennial. He was out at Rocky Mountain National Arsenal. Have found this little fawn here hanging out with mom. I guess dad had Father's Day off, so he was out yeah. playing golf or something. I don't know. Uh, satellite and radar together. Mostly clear skies all day long today. And here at the tail end of the afternoon, we're seeing a few thunderstorms south of Alamosa down there near Manassa in southern Colorado. Those are pushing into the northern part of New Mexico. Couple of high pressure areas on the weather map. The smaller one is what affected us today. Kept us in the 80s, kept us comfortable here. The bigger one is off the coast of California. And this is a big high pressure ridge that's going to slowly start to make inroads into the southwest. Tomorrow it'll be moving into LA, not really uh, creating a huge warm up for Colorado and most of the east here. So we'll go with warm temperatures tomorrow. Then once it slides into Arizona and Utah in the four corners, that's when things really get uh, heating up around here. And there's some real hot uh, air down there in the desert southwest. Phoenix tomorrow is going to be at 118, 113 in Las Vegas. Salt Lake City should make it to 90. And that's the kind of heat that will be moving towards Colorado coming up at least by Tuesday. In fact, noon Tuesday into Thursday for the Grand Junction area, there's a heat advisory where temperatures should be about 100 to 110 degrees out there in the Grand Valley. It's going to be a scorcher. Now, the future cast as far as moisture goes, a couple of clouds here in the northeast tonight. Tomorrow morning, we've got a almost completely clear skies across the state and will stay mostly clear in the afternoon as well. Just a few clouds, convective clouds building up in the southern part of Colorado tomorrow, and that'll be it. Most of the state stays high and dry. Temperatures tonight will be in the 60s out west, 40s and 50s in the mountains and most of the eastern plains, and then highs tomorrow. Lots of 80s to near 90 degrees here across the eastern plains, 70s and 80s in the mountains, and Grand Junction and the western slope starts to feel the effects of that heat wave coming in. They may make it to 90 99 degrees out there tomorrow. So mostly clear in Denver tonight, 53 the low. Poor air quality because of the high ozone uh, in the air. Mostly sunny, warm tomorrow, 86 downtown, about 85 at the airport. And then Tuesday is going to be toasty with a capital T, 96 for the high, one degree away from the record high by then, 94 on Wednesday, 90 on Thursday, and the cool down returns on Friday. We may drop into the 70s with a chance of rain, and summer arrives on Tuesday night, and we will certainly feel it. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and let me go on record to say we don't have to break the record. I'm fine with that. Okay, me too. Okay, thank you, Dave. <laughs> well, a woman calls police to tell them a big pig is on her front lawn.